you sense a familiar presence. Good morning. Oh, hi, Pharos. We won. This is the first time we've talked during the daytime. It is the 27th of the 5th. I've got an emergency dental appointment in about two hours. <coughs> it is half past nine in the morning. I don't normally record this early, but I'm not going to be able to record for a couple of days. Also, Obi-Wan Kenobi starts today, so super hyped for that. Oh yeah, Ferros. Nice weather, isn't it? This is indeed a new day. Yeah, we took out Strega. For both of us. Oh. All the fragments of my memory, they finally come together. Oh, oh. I now know my role clearly. Do you now? The time has come. For, 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 for what? As difficult as it may be, I must tell you something. I am afraid this is goodbye. Oh, Ferros, no. I want you to know, for me, our friendship was a miracle. Okay. I mean, you just kind of barged into my room and stared at me while I slept. But miracles don't last forever. They don't. Someone's remembered what they're going to do. If only they did. Yes. I can't see you anymore. I shall treasure our conversations always. Even if today is the end, the bond between us can never be severed. Remember that. Okay. Pharos is looking at you with teary eyes. You sense a strong bond with Pharos, the frog-looking motherfucker. Well, we ranked up, ranked up the uh, death arcana. Uh, yay! Thou art I, and I am thou. Thou hast established a genuine bond. The innermost power of the Death Arcana hath been set free. We bestow upon thee the ability to create Thanatos, the ultimate form of the Death Arcana. If only I could. The Mysterious Boy Social Link has reached its maximum level. You've mastered the Mysterious Boy Social Link. That's a gimme. The power to create Persona of the Death Arcana has reached its maximum. We have forged a bond that cannot be broken with death. <laughs> It was fun while it lasted. It was. I'm not looking forward to this now. Farewell. I think my only saving grace is we're playing on normal. Pharos disappeared. Will you ever see him again? Kind of. Yo, is your stomach ready? Today's the big celebration. I'm going to eat like there's no tomorrow. Maybe it'll be more awesome. Y you've got a point. This is Mitsuru Senpai we're talking about. Maybe we'll get crab and blowfish. You better come back right after school, man. I'll be waiting. Yep. Straight to after school. The dormitory lounge. Just as promised, the finest sushi is laid out on the table. Whoa, nice spread. Whoa, the slices are huge. Man, I'm starving. Can we eat? Hey, where are Aiga's son and Kutsuki san? Ah, uh, he took her to the lab for a tune up or something. Huh. He said they'd join us later. Huh. <laughs> The chairman just can't stay away from the lab, can he? Oh, that big Kutsuki. A car pulled up in the front. That must be my father. The door opened and Mitsuru's fa father walked in. Two men in black followed. We've been waiting for you. So, it's over at last, huh? Yes. Wh who's he? Can't you tell? That's Mitsuru Senpai's dad. She looks exactly like him. Do you think so? Apart from the missing eye. Congratulations, everyone. You've done well. There are no words to express my gratitude. Though you will never receive the recognition you deserve, it is undoubtedly a monumental achievement. Thank you. <laughs> to you. I owe a special thanks for lending us your power until the very end. Takahara took Yukari's hands and firmly clasped them. Oh, it's... it's no big deal. She's blushing. The twelve shadows that were the cause of all our troubles have been destroyed thanks to your efforts. You needn't bear this burden any longer. You deserve a chance to experience the joys of youth. The specialized extracurricular execution squad will be dissolved as of midnight tonight. Dissolved? 
I see. No longer must you put your lives on the line in battle. Tomorrow, you can triumphantly return to a normal school life. It's like Junpei's nightmare. You don't get to be the hero anymore. Matter? Oh, it's nothing. We were enjoying being heroes. All right, everyone. It's time to celebrate. Your feast awaits you. There is no need to hold back. Eat as much as you'd like. Sweet! I've been waiting for you to say that. Minutes before midnight, the party is still going on. Now listen up, everyone. Well, now that we're all stuffed, how about we take a picture together? Huh? Actually, I tried to take one last night, but I forgot it wouldn't work during the dark hour. You mean you brought a camera with you into battle? <laughs> well, it, it was our last battle after all. Excuse me, mister. Uh, would you mind taking our picture? I feel like such a tourist. But I have to admit, I kind of want a picture too. <laughs> I'm so glad to have a photo with Yukari Chan and our leader. I'll treasure it. No, you won't. Oh, wait. Kutsuki san and Agus aren't here. I guess we'll have to take another one later. All right, everyone get together. Everyone gathered in front of the camera. Come on, squeeze tight. Everyone come in closer to me. Does that include me too? Uh, no, not you. Jeez, let's not keep this poor guy waiting all day to take the picture. Hey, we're good to go. You can take the pictures anytime. Time to strike a pose. Uh, hey, get your hand out of my face. <laughs> Is it just me, or did this not get my good side? Uh, but we're going to take another one once Igus and akutsuki san come back, all right? Yes, yes, we hear you. I can get used to a worry-free life like this. Oh, they're laying it on thick. Dog. How about you, Koro-chan? Are you glad to get all this meat? The celebration party went off without a hitch. You spent a moment of relaxation with your battle-weary friends. Uh, four sees rank seven. See social link has reached level seven. Your power to create personas of the full arcana has grown. Hey, how come nobody's eating? Don't tell me you're full already. Are you kidding? I'm stuffed. <laughs> Me too. Oh, I couldn't eat another bite. How about you, senpai? Mm. <laughs> I'm good for now. All right. Want to try some, Kurumaru? <laughs> Don't give the dog raw fish. You'll make him sick. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, dog. I wonder what's taking those two so long. Yeah, about that. It's almost midnight. <laughs> Something's going on. Well, no, because there's no more dark hour, is there? Because we won. Right. It's after midnight. Oh, the hell? The guys in suits, they've transmogrified. <laughs> I thought we ended the dark hour. <laughs> oh, Junpei. Senpai, what's going on? I don't know. Apparently, I was right to have my doubts. Yeah, something didn't feel right. Good thing you loaded up on sushi beforehand. Hmm. No way. Hey, do you hear that? It sounds like a bell, but where is it coming from? Where is Akutsuki? Well, why is he late? He's got Igis with him, doesn't he? Mitsuru. Everyone, prepare for battle. Battle? We're heading for Tartarus. Tartarus? Um, to do what? I don't know, but that's where the sound is coming from. We have to find out what's going on. But we won, right? Right? Tartarus, it hasn't disappeared. 
Ikutsuki and Aegis are standing at its entrance. Ikutsuki-san! Aegis? Why are you here? Why can't Alex pronounce your names? She is here merely to fulfill her role. As a weapon. Did you notice her eyes were blank? Huh? Ikutsuki-san, what's this all about? You said the Dark Hour and Tartarus would disappear if we defeated the Twelve Shadows. That's why we fought so hard. But now... What is your intention? It was all a lie, wasn't it? You knew from the beginning that the Dark Hour wouldn't disappear. Goddamn son of a bitch. Excellent deduction, <coughs> Mitsuri. Unfortunately, your realization has come too late. No. You tricked us? Everything is as I planned. <laughs> it is not unexpected that the Dark Hour and Tartarus remain. In fact, I never intended for you to rid the world of them. Quite the opposite, actually. What do you mean? The Twelve Shadows were parts of a whole. They were destined to be reunited. And that was accomplished in no small part, thanks to your efforts. Yeah, his face has changed just a tad. Soon, <coughs> death, the Almighty, shall arise and bring forth the fall. Oh no, not, not death, the Almighty. Death? What are you talking about? The end of all shall come and free this world from despair. The death of everything, but also the beginning. What is he saying? Is he out of his mind? Ten years ago, I too was a scientist <coughs> for the project we've spoken of. The experiment went awry, but that is not why the Dark Hour and Tartarus were born. They manifested as a result of harvesting the Shadow's power, just as the experiment was designed to do. That is why your grandfather gathered so many shadows, to bring about the fall. That can't be. People have filled the world yet turned it into a void. The only hope of salvation lies in ruin. According to the prophecy, the fall will be orchestrated by the prince. And once the prince has delivered us all, he shall rule the new world as king. The man who tried it ten years ago failed, but I will not. I shall succeed. Man, he's totally lost it. I apologize for deceiving you. But this was for your sake as well. Because we wouldn't have done it if you, you'd have told us we were bringing about the end of the world. If you follow me <clears throat> for just a little while longer, you too will find salvation. You call that salvation? What's going to happen? You will soon see for yourself. I have a question for you. I have several. Yes? In the video from my father, he said to defeat the shadows. Was that a lie too? Ah, he did record that himself. Of course, I had to make some modifications. You doctored it? I corrected it. <laughs> Your father was a superb scientist. He may not have known it, but I truly respected him. While others focused on the shadow's abilities, he explored much more important things. But unfortunately, he could not comprehend the magnificent potential of the fall. What? He left that recording at the expense of his life. It would seem so. But it did prove rather useful. So I'm sure he's happy. So you were behind it all? You used both me and my father. Used is such an ugly word. It was for the sake of the world. So how could it be wrong? Our role is to correct the mistakes of the past. Mitsuru grabbed her evoker. And we intend to do just that. I'm with you. Oh, how disappointing. I had hoped you would see the light. But you are just children after all. I suppose it can't be helped. I guess. The time has come for you to fulfill your role. Capture them 
and prepare them to be sacrificed. Oh no, not robot waifu. Understood. Energy output at maximum. Igus, what's wrong? She's a killer magic. He just flipped the switch. Igus, please. Igus has taken her battle stance. Engaging. Rather sadly, we never actually get to see the Igus versus the rest of C's fight. I would have loved to have seen that. I think it's in the anime. Uh, there is an anime of this if you don't want to play the game. Uh, it's with the male protagonist. Yaku and High School Observatory, now part of Tartarus. It's actually well worth giving the anime a watch. We've all been crucified. <laughs> it seems you were unconscious. Uh, yeah, there we all are. We've been crucified. Huh? You could see your friends being crucified. Huh? You too are chained to a cross, unable to move. <coughs> who would have believed the sinister guy with glasses who was way too nice and f openly gave kids guns? Everyone's like, it's not a gun, it's a fake gun to make you panic because that's how you get your persona to come out. Nah, dude, it's a gun. A fake gun is just as dangerous as a real gun. <coughs> what the hell? Yeah, Junpei is not impressed. <coughs> Didn't crucify the dog, though. <laughs> what is this? <gasps> it seems your friends have awakened. Damn it. I can't get these off. Father. I guess is restraining a man in a suit before your eyes. It's Takaharu Mitsuru's father. Ikutsuki. What is the meaning of this? It is just as it appears. They are to be sacrifices, harbingers of the fall. The arrangements are complete. The prophecy shall be fulfilled. But where's the dog? What? You son of a bitch! I'm gonna rip your head off! My, my. What a commotion. Igus. Direct your aim at Mr. Kirijo. Affirmative. I guess aimed her gun at Takaharu as directed by Ikatsuki. Father! You traitor. Are you insane? Of course not. You know your father was an unlucky man. Even you, his son, after all this time, do not understand his vision. My father was wrong. Death is a deliverance. That is not an ideology anyone should ever embrace. Fool! You are but a nuisance now. Igus, go on ahead and give this man his honorable deliverance. Wait! Please, Igus, no! Mitsuru is yelling frantically, straining at her bonds. <laughs> what are you doing, Igus? I. Am Power of friendship will overcome this. I guess lowered her guns in confusion. Fine. I'll do this myself. Ten years. I've wasted ten long years. I'm not like your father. I won't make any exceptions. At that moment, Takaharu freed himself from Igis's grip and pulled out a gun. Takaharu slowly fell forward to the ground. Father! Ugh. Damn it! Takaharu shot Ikutsuki in the stomach. Oh, that's a bad place to get shot. I guess execute the sacrifices. Let's that's a end this. bad place to get shot. I guess turned towards you. I Snap out of it! I guess looked up with unfocused eyes. She says our name. She says our name again. <laughs> Finish them, I guess. Whoa. 
I guess shot away your restraints with her machine guns. That's some fine aim. How come you miss all the time when I'm using you? I guess... What? You damn defective machine! Ikutsuki fell to his knees, holding his bloodstained stomach. You're all alone now, and you're injured on top of that. Looks like this is it, Mr. Chairman. <laughs> you don't get it, do you? It's useless to search for hope or reasons to live in this pathetic world. A world this depraved must be started over from the beginning. <sighs> and then, at long last, I will rule over the new world. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, you, you, you got red on you. Ikutsuki stretched his hand towards the sky. I told you he was going to Gendo Icarus. <laughs> Ikasuki uh, leaned forward as if trying to grasp the moon and slowly fell. How did it come to this? Uh, well, we believed the wrong person and never questioned it. That's, that's how it came to this. Ikutsuki saw. Father. At least I won't have to say his name anymore. <laughs> father. Mitsuru shook her father's body. There was no response. Where's the dog? Where's the dog? <laughs> oh. One time my father made a promise. He swore that he would atone for endangering our generation, even if it cost him his life. But I... I wanted him to live. I... I became a Persona user to protect him. <laughs> Everyone was at a loss for words. That's fucked up, yo. The Dark Hour still came. Mitsuru slumped to the floor, crying like a child. Soon the dark hour will end. Akihiko picked up the stunned Mitsuru. Everyone returned to the dormitory in silence. Now he just killed like fucking two main characters. You've become tired. That's not my fault. Yesterday was a shocking turn of events. You wonder if Mitsuru Senpai is alright. You wonder what else the future holds. You overhear a conversation. Did you hear? About the student council president, I heard her dad passed away from his illness. I bet it's tough to live without your parents. Yeah, I know. I think I'll help my mum cook dinner when I go back home. The first bell has rung. You received a text message. It's from Akihiko. I need to talk to you all. Meet me in the command room or when you get home. The dormitory command room. Everyone is here except for Mitsuru and Aegis. The chairman's room has been cleared out. Well, that's no surprise, considering what he did. <laughs> Aegis isn't here either. I just can't believe all this. It's in the papers, too. Sudden death of Kirito's group CEO. They blame it on illness, though. Yeah, it's never the truth. Nope. Mitsuru Senpai's not here, huh? She's an only child, so there's a lot of matters to be settled, including the funeral and the family business. And I'm sure she'll be busy for at least a week. No, yeah, it'll only take a week. That sounds rough. I hope she'll be okay. We could go and check on her. So, what are we supposed to do now? No, we're not going to check on her. <laughs> What'll happen to Chidori? No word yet. They're probably too busy to be thinking about that. In fact, the entire Kirijo group must be in a state of shock. 
I hope Igis is all right. Yeah. What the hell? Am I just supposed to wait for them to get their act together? Mitsuru is meeting with the board of directors. That might explain the delay. I see. But still, what are we going to do? We have no idea how to get rid of the Dark Hour. We don't even know what we're fighting against. What was that he said about the fall? What would have happened if we'd been sacrificed? There are so many unanswered questions. Uh, let's take our time. Mm, true. But there is one thing we know. We, we have got no idea what's ha Well, I know what's happening. Tartarus is still around, and there's a bunch of shadows inside it. We should train so we're ready for whatever it is we might have to face. I agree. All right, let's break for tonight. Rest yourselves well, even if you can't sleep. Got it. I hear ya. Yeah. Something like that. After everyone left, Fuka stopped Yukari. That's my dog. Why are you going mental, dog? What's going on? Yukari chan. Hmm? What's this? A disc? Um, there were traces of a video on the chairman's hard drive. Most of it was deleted, but I was able to restore some of it. I thought you might like to see it. Thanks, Fuka. I'll watch it later. Hmm. Uh-huh. Make sure that you do. Later at Yukari's room. So it's just a normal DVD? It's a movie on a disc the size of a CD. All right. Let's see what's on here. Oh, there we go. That video? My employer has become obsessed with a loathsome idea. This experiment should have never even been conceived. That's why I had to interrupt it. However, in doing so, I set free a number of shadows that are certain to torment future generations. But if I hadn't, the entire world may have paid the price. Please listen carefully. I cannot stress this enough. You must not hunt the shadows that have dispersed. Huh? This part's... I wasn't able to stop this madness. He won't listen no matter what I say. He's under the devil's spell. Now the shadows are trying to eat one another. But if they're reunited, then we are all doomed. I'll say this once more. Leave the shadows be. This is the original video. Before Ikutsuki changed it. Dad tried to stop the experiment. There's not much hope for me now. I'm pretty much dead. I have just one favor to ask. Whoever finds this, please give my daughter Yukari this message. I know I promised I'd be home soon. And I'm sorry to break that promise. But I want you to know, Daddy was the happiest man on earth when he was with you. Dad? I love you, Yukari. Please, take care of yourself. I know one thing for sure now. I was right to believe in him. Yeah. Eventually, Yukari's tears stopped and she lifted her head. Are you listening, Dad? I'm doing okay. It took a while, but I finally got your message. Resolution in Yukari's heart has awakened a new persona. Ah. 
Persona Io is giving rise to Isis. Oh dear. That means different things now. Even though it's still just a god. I'll fight I, for what I believe yeah. in. That's what you would have wanted. Right, Dad? Kind of. <laughs> well, I mean... Ah. Welcome. Hi, Igor. As I'm sure you are aware, you are currently in a dream. Yes. Now then, there has been a change in you recently. Have you noticed? And I am not referring to your change in circumstances. Good old Igor. I am referring to the change in your mentality. That is why I have summoned you here tonight. Going forward, there is one thing you mustn't forget. It is the contract you signed. I see you recognize it. Shall I remind you of your commitment? Yeah, Igor doesn't give a fuck about the end of the world or any of that. Just uh, I chooseth this fate of mine own free will. Yeah, we did choose this. There is no need to worry. Whichever path you choose, I shall respect your decision. However. Only you will bear the responsibility for your actions. That is quite specific. No matter what end they may bring about. Well, there's only two endings. Please, remember that. Well then, I bid you farewell. I'm really hoping the game's going to go easy on me because I'm bad at it. You're no longer tired because you rested. Dory's room at Tatsumi Memorial Hospital. I have Yo, ignored Chidori. Junpei. Ah, uh, poor Junpei. I've ignored you too much. Sorry about not being able to come lately. A uh, lot's been going on. Hey, what's wrong? So you heard about Takai and Jin, huh? I was planning on telling you. They were your friends, after all. What? That's not it? I'm scared. It hurts. Junpei, what will you be doing in two years? Two years? I don't know. I really haven't thought about it. Why do you ask? Hey, I, I noticed you stopped... You know, uh, hurting yourself. Oh, I guess. Well, that's good. I mean, you have such beautiful hands. I think to save her, you have to get Junpei's social rank to the max, which isn't going to happen, so she's dead. <gasps> Don't touch me. Oh, uh, sorry. I, I didn't mean to. This is too painful. It used to be fun when you came to visit. But it's different now. Huh? It hurts inside. I can't breathe. I I can't.
can't take this anymore. W what do you mean? I, I don't understand. D did I do something wrong? Tell me what it is. Junpei. Don't come here anymore. But, <coughs> Chidori. She's having emotions and she can't process them. And she's got a demon thing inside her. Persona, whatever. <laughs> 